So now let's utilize Toon Boom Harmony's keyframe and path animation uh, tools. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to take my brush tool and then I'm going to draw a circle just like this. Once I do that, I'm going to go to my selection tool and select my circle right over here. Once I do that, I'm going to go on to my 30th frame and add in frame right here. So for that, I'm going to press F5. So once you do that, you can see that it's a 30 uh, frame of still a circle right there. So what I need to do now is uh, I need to animate this. But before I animate, I need to set its pivot point because usually it's not in the right spot. So for that, you need to go on to the top uh, toolbar right here. And here you can see this little icon called translate. So simply click that and you'll be uh, accessing the pivot point. So I'm going to make sure that I drag this in onto the center. So usually I have to keep it on the center itself. So that is that. So now I need to start animating. So I'm going to go on to the left pane and I'm going to click this icon right here, which is transform because I want to do a transformation animation right there. And this is animate current frame. So once you actually uh, make sure that this is there, then you can see that keyframe has been added. But if you don't want a keyframe, you can press F7 on your keyboard and the keyframe will be gone. Anyways, I want the keyframe in. So I'm just going to move this a bit and the keyframe has been added just like that. So I need to uh, animate this towards the right. So I'm just going to move this around to the end right over here and click and drag this out over here. And you can see that the animation actually happens just like this from left to right. But over here, I want it to follow a path like it goes up and it goes down. So I'm going to go somewhere around the center just like this and I'm going to move this up. And you can see that now the path animation is there. But you might not be seeing path animation in your case. So you might not see that the path is there at all. So what you have to do for, the, uh, for it is you have to go to view, you have to go to show and you have to click control. So right now you can see that it actually turn off and mine. So you have to go to view, you have to go to show and you have to go to control or press shift F11. It is up to you which one uh, you want to use. So control and you'll be able to see the path of the animation as well. Once you see that, you can see that the path animation is there. But what if you want an arc? In case you want arc in your path animation, what you have to do is you have to go over here onto the top right near tool properties, press the plus icon right over here. And over here, you'll be able to access coordinates and control points. So just enable this out. Once you enable this, you can see that there's a position function right over here. And right now it's separate. That is the, uh, the path that you animated is not linked together. So if you were to turn this off, then uh, it'll be an arc animation. Right now you can see that it did not affect anything. That is because I did not separate it before I animated. So you need to make sure that you separate it beforehand if you want the arc animation. So I'm simply going to delete everything right over here. And now I'm going to start off with this separated. So I'm going to uh, take my brush tool, make another circle right over here. And I'm going to select this out, use the pivot point right over here, set it on center. I'm going to make sure that this is separate now right here. So this is unchecked. Now let's see what happens. So I'm going to see, follow the same procedure. I'm going to select the transformation tool. I'm going to go to the 30th frame, frame and press F5 right over here. And then I'm just going to drag this out over here just like that. And you can see that now it uh, goes from left to right over here just like that. And now this is turned off. So this is very crucial. So if I were to actually move this up, now you can see that my animation actually moves up in an arc just like that. So you, if I were to press play, you can see that there's an arc animation going on right over there. So that is how you control the animation. So if you want to keep it straight, then you uh, separate the position out uh, from the selection coordinates. But if you want something like an arc, then what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, not keep them separate. So uncheck the separate out. And that is how you utilize the uh, keyframe and the path animation tools inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.